Well, good morning and welcome to Town Church House Church. It's great for Katie and I to be able to be with you this morning uh, as you gather in your home uh, to worship together and to be together. I can't believe, quite believe it's our third uh, meeting of House Church. That's gone pretty quickly during the month of September. So we hope you have a great time today and that the first two have gone really, really well. We hope you're really enjoying building relationships with people, just beginning to get to know one another that bit better. And also, you're having some fun thinking what church can actually look like if we can be more creative. Now, we're going to give some Town Church news before we talk a bit about today. So the first item of Town Church news, let me hand over to Katie. Well, the first thing is just a quick reminder that the Parenting the Faith course starts tomorrow, Monday the 28th of September, at 8 p.m. It's on Zoom, so if you haven't signed up, it really isn't too late, and it's a great course to be part of. James and I are hosting the first first evening, so it would be lovely to see some of you there. Brilliant, thank you. The second piece of Town Church news is about next Sunday, as we're going to be celebrating Harvest as a church family. Just reminding ourselves of the goodness and generosity of God to us, and how we can be generous in our response to others. And as part of that, as well as the communion service in church, then we're going to be having not house church in homes, but we're going to be gathering together in the church building as a larger community for a live worship for everyone. Half an hour, uh, all ages, uh, in the church building where we'll have some fun together exploring that theme of harvest. The details are in the newsletter. It's going to be arriving from 11 o'clock and starting at 11.15 for half an hour. And we'll hopefully have some refreshments afterwards. We'll work out how we do that in a safe way. So please do come along. Please do book well in advance so we can plan for numbers And uh, as you come, we'll be asking you to sit in household units um, so we keep everyone as safe as we can. Katie, do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. No, if you um, would like to bring some gifts this year, we've got an opportunity to support the Grace Trust. And it would be absolutely fantastic to be able to support them with lots of um, uh, non-perishable non-perishable products um, and dried food. So if you have a look in the newsletter, there's a full list there of the items that they're looking for. But please let us be as generous as we can be. Brilliant, thank you. The last bit of Town Church news is about something called Youth Alpha. And uh, this is something that Jemima, uh, our daughter, one of the teenagers in Town Church, is going to be running at JCG at lunchtimes with her friend Beth from St Paul's. And it's also for Vic College as well. I'm sorry, for Vic College as well, I'm sorry, for all sixth formers to come along to. They just had a real desire to want to be able to present the gospel to people and give people an opportunity to explore about Jesus. Uh, So we want to encourage them in that as they do it. Again, there's something in the newsletter about it, but they're hoping to be able to offer the course for free for people. They want to be hospitable. They want to provide donuts at lunchtime. Food always brings people along at school. uh, And they want to be able to provide resources for them to be able to use the booklets, the videos. And they've worked out it's probably a cost of about £15 per person to be able to come for the entire term. So if anyone feels that they'd like to be able to support that financially and support one person to come to that Youth Alpha at the schools, then uh, please... Think about it and please pass some money to myself and Katie and we'll get that uh, in the right place. But also we can all be praying. So please be praying for them. It starts early October. Um, that actually they may see some people come to faith in Jesus through this course. Fantastic. Now, this week in House Church, we're going to be thinking a bit deeper as about community. And as we think about counting the cost of community and think about serving each other. Now, as ever, there are questions for discussion. Um, for you to think about afterwards do focus on the application of those especially for your group what does it look like for some of the things we've learned from the bible Mm. passage in your group um, to be serving each other in community brilliant thank you we've also put some worship resources down i've put quite a few today five different songs Uh, obviously singing isn't ideal Uh, they're there for us to listen to Um, there's a couple of songs that are more for praise and thanksgiving. You might want to have those in the background. There's, there's two or three songs that actually are there for a specific response to that theme of service. And so maybe think creatively how you could use one of those uh, after you've listened to the talk and had some discussion. It may even be you want to listen to those during the course of the week as you go along. Uh, I was talking to my brother Matthew, who's a vicar in York, and he said he's asked his congregation to think about how they might dance, things they can't sing at the moment. That just is totally outside my comfort zone. For others of you, it might be well within it. So uh, maybe that's something you could try at House Church. Fantastic. TCK today, the kids, we're going to be learning about how we can trust Jesus. And we're going to be looking at a story from Matthew where a Roman centurion meets Jesus. Well, that's all we have for you this morning. We're here to have a great time. Uh, I'm going to pray and then have some fun. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for the chance just to gather together in community. Would you come by your Holy Spirit, be amongst us, be in us, be with us. And I pray you teach us and show us how we can better serve and be served as your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, we both really look forward to seeing you in person next week in the Town Church building for our live worship for everyone as we celebrate harvest. Take care.